you booped my nose. Welcome to Inner Realms. I have been a busy shepherd, been working on the hotel behind me. We got the invisible floor done in the last episode, and there's another floor in there I want to show you in just a little bit here. But first, I'm off to the post office to see if Cubsy paid us. Oh, speaking of post office, check this out. I put in a light! Isn't that cool? Check this out. Uh, Miner and I, I talked to Josh, who built the post office, and Miner and I came over here, and good, the block came right out. And I've added this little function. This was just a test to see, but if you look here, uh, you can't see anything from where I'm standing. Okay, if I go like this, maybe? There we go. Uh, these are all the little sensors that turn the lights on uh, when, it, when you've got mail. Well, I just connected up this little gizmo right here and now if I can get out of this place and now when I well that's not right uh now let's try this third time's a charm perfect now when I'm flying over flying into the uh the shopping district here if the light is on that means I've got mail now I talked to the guys about installing them for everybody around here on the roof but that's gonna take a few more resources a little more redstone than I have right now so for now we've got our little mail checker the best part about it is I can be all the way up here in my penthouse suite and see I have mail redstone for the win so what were we doing oh yeah we were heading into the post office to see if Cubsy has paid us so let's take a look here, and we have mail, we have diamonds, oh, oh, but those aren't, those aren't, these aren't diamonds from Cubsy, these are diamonds for our campaign running for environmental promotion agent. I mean, can I be honest, when I decided to run for office, I wasn't really thinking I was going to run against anybody. Doesn't look like anybody else up there is running for environmental promotion agent. But now we've got these diamonds and we got to figure out what to do with them. And you know what? I have an idea. This is the main gate to the Inter-Realms Shopping District. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's grass. It's grass. And, and, and these are path blocks. And, and there's some random lighting and signs lots and lots of signs what do these signs say cool cactus yes that's a cool cactus cool sign cool arrow on a sign sign on sign cool cool sign on sign cool sign under the other presumably the sign uh that's too dark is this a cool sign well somebody thinks no but that's a bad sign not a sign <gasps> cool paper a new sign Sign pointing to a paper that is not a sign. Those two signs smell like signs that taste like honey-coated wood. Mmm. Which was created from, uh, well, we're not going to say that on camera, on a good day in the ever-escalating search for the answer to... Um, the meaning to... Life, the universe, and everything. Well, I guess that finishes the sentence, but I don't know. I think, I don't think these signs belong right here. I mean, look at this, look at this. We've got this nice bridge right here, and what's leading up to the bridge? Some... This must be fixed. So you know how we're going to run for office? We're going to promote some environment and show these guys what they'll get if they hire us. I mean, come on, look around here. This lake could be so much prettier. There's not even a grating over there. And where are the proper retaining walls and hidden lighting? These squid can't possibly be happy. Are you guys happy? Looks like they're running away to me. And what's over here on this side of the river? See? See nothing at all. Where, where, where's the pathways? Where's the, where's the community areas? Where's the, where's the stuff that makes people want to come spend time in the shopping district? I ask you, ladies and gentlemen, the environmental promotion agent is on the job. And look at these walls. There's not even a top to them. I don't know about you, but I want to be able to walk along the walls. Oh, now look at that. Now, now, now look at this. Look at this. How 
what are fl what are flowers gonna keep out? I ask you. So let's get to work on our campaign to win over the constituents of the shopping district and promote this environment. So outside the shopping district, we've got a little shed here with some extra materials to be used in the shopping district and there's some dark oak we're gonna definitely need that so while I'm collecting up materials why don't you head over to the hotel and check out that new floor I decorated so see this room behind me it used to look like this this is the King Arthur suit well they yeah. they were simpler times <laughs> yeah <laughs> but now it looks like this Welcome to the King Arthur room. Oh, I like it. In fact, this is the best part. Okay, we're going we're gonna to look at the whole room. See, there's the whole room. Okay, but we're going to look at the whole room. But first, I have to show you this. This was Re. I asked Re to come on. This was a King Arthur room. What's a King Arthur room without a sword and a stone, right? Right? Oh, I love it. That's so cool. Someday, someday we will figure out how to do armor stands. But here we are. This is the King Arthur Arthur Sweet. We put in some uh, nice dark ceiling with rafters up there. By using the walls along here, it, it it looks like a castle. It looks like we're... We see if the doors are closed. Let's close the doors. There we go. See, you can kind of pretend. You pretend you're inside of a castle. And, and we got some, some torches here on the walls. We've got... A, I couldn't fit... No, I'm sorry about this. Okay, I'm just... I apologize now. I couldn't fit an entire round table. I wanted to. I really did. But I couldn't. So I put half a round table? Yeah, half a round table. That works. Okay, what else we got here? So we can sit at our half a round table. We've got a little kitchen area here. You know, you could cut up this fish with the sword if you wanted to. If you can get it out of the stone, that is. We should have some sort of deal where if you can get the sword out of the stone, you get a free night at the hotel. That'd be cool. And then if you come up here, we've got a little sleeping area here. All nicely all nicely decorated canopy bed with the curtains that you can close to get a little, uh, you know, privacy, privacy in there. And out here, we've got, remember, remember, there's a toilet, the king's toilet. See, we put the little, put the little moon on it to, to signify this is a, um, <clears throat> outhouse? No, 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 it, it, it's a bathroom, yeah. It's a bathroom. And if we go in here, we've got our little teepee dispenser. We, we've got our little toilet. And we've got a little flusher right here. So let's close the doors. And <clears throat> get, get here in the toilet. There we go. Okay. We're in the toilet. We've, <clears throat> okay, we've, we've done our, done our thing. We've done our thing. Okay. And then we, then we flush. Oh no. Where have we wound? Oh, we're just down here. <laughs> oh, looks like some oh, looks like some wet toilet paper on the ground there. Uh, yeah, so this is right here. This is the latrine. This is the outhouse. This is the bathroom for the King Arthur suite. How cool is that? Can I just say that here on the server, we had so much fun testing this out. Everybody was flushing everybody else. And I know that you want to see video for that. But you know, we're going to be like the prequels to Star Wars. We're just going to talk about it. We're not going to show it. Actually, I, I heard Troj has some footage of that. So maybe if you watch his videos, you'll see it. So now that we've seen the room, let's go see how we're doing on the wall. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm just building a wall here. There's nothing to see. Move along. Yeah, so uh, we had a nice chat and they moved along. And just like that, we've got a wall not only on this side, but all the way around the shopping district. Check it out. Yes. And it's even got a proper top to it, lit nicely all the way. I'm thinking some moonlight walks along the castle wall. Isn't it pretty? Look at this. 
all the way around the castle. You can still see where's Lee's area over here. In fact, I was talking to Joush and he said to hold back on the walls on this side because he's going to connect them into this lovely arch that Where's Lee has built. And so we still, still got some flowers. Yeah, yeah, but that's okay. That's okay. And if we head up here, the wall continues. Here's Miner's Blasting Area. And our wall comes all the way around behind the town hall. Connects into over here where we've added lights. And even heads down into, you haven't seen this yet. Let's land right here. Check it out. Look. Look at this. Oh, wait, wait. I gotta go up. I gotta go up higher. I like the view from the wall. Look at what we've done along our little lazy river. Oh, the squid look so happy, don't they? Look at this. We've got a little harbor all landscaped out. Here, let's get a view from right up here. There we go. It's all landscaped out and we've terrained it a little bit. I've begun to think about where the pathways are going to go, but don't worry. Those are not always going to be path blocks now that the environmental promotion agent is on the job. But look at this. We've even got, if we come over to this side, oh, I blend in the water. We come over to this side on the harbor. We've even landscaped this out and see, look at the fish. Did you see, the, see, did you see the fish jumping? They're, 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 oh, they're, 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 they're absolutely, they're absolutely, that's not me, they're absolutely thrilled. And if we come around here from the front, no more grass blocks, no more path blocks, no, we've got this lovely broad avenue bringing us right in here into the lovely shopping district. And if you notice, the map of the shopping district is gone. Gone, gone, gone. Okay, okay, it's it's not gone. It's it's over there. This just made so much more sense because the this way you can read the text. There's the Inner Realms logo that's right out there. Everything makes sense. You come up to this. Yeah, yeah, you could see exactly where you want to go. And and if you miss the signs, don't worry. The signs are over here. That's right. I have meticulously, historically moved every single sign over here to this empty space. So if you miss the signs, there they are. And one final thing that we added to the lovely shopping district are signs. See, we moved the signs over there, but no, I left some signs because we want people to see all this lovely addition to the shopping district and vote for us. So we've got a sign that says, a vote for Shepherd Sean is a vote for shopping district profitability, right? You want to shop here, don't you? Or this sign, vote Shepherd Sean for EPA agent. Promote the SD. There's this sign. We won't take it any longer. Vote Shepherd Sean. Vote Shepherd Sean for a better SD experience. Vote Shepherd Sean. Promote your SD. Or this one, over here by the toilet. Your SD smell like a sewer? Vote Shepherd Sean. He'll fix that right up. Or how about this one? Vote Shepherd Sean. The SD the way it was meant to be. Or here at the town hall. Vote Shepherd Sean, promote the shopping district. The shopping district you deserve, vote Shepherd Sean. Make your shopping district greater still, vote Shepherd Sean. And, 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 here's my favorite, here's my favorite. Vote Shepherd Sean. He'll put roads where the puddles are now. Or if you come over and sit on this bench, it could all look like this. Vote Shepherd Sean. Or this one. Enjoying this view? Vote Shepherd Sean. Well, that's about all the time we have for this episode, but I hope you enjoyed all the lovely building we did today. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode here on The Inner Realms.